Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. So what we have here, we can write this one we have a raised to power n minus n. This same thing as a raised to power n over a raised to power n. This here, we have a raised to power x over 8 squared equals to 80 from here. That is here, this same thing as 8 raised to power x over 8 squared, 8 times 8, that's 64, equals to 80 over 1 here. Okay, here we cross multiply 8 raised to power x times 1, same thing as 8 raised to power x equals to 80 times 64 here. Okay, next step here, we take the log on both sides. As this here, we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 80 times 64 from here. Then here, we apply the power law of logarithm. That is, when we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. And this here we have x log 8 equals to log 80 times 64. Okay, next step here. We divide both side by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. And this here, log 8 cancelled each other here. We have x equals to log 80 times 64 over log 8. Then here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here, what we have becomes x equals to log 80 plus log 64 over log 8 then here we separate this into two fractions when we have x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8. Okay, from here, 64, same thing as 8 times 8, that's 8 squared. And what we have here becomes x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus log 8 squared over log 8. Yeah. Then here we apply the power of log ring. And two comes in, and we have x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8. That is, here we have log 8 cancelled each other, 2 left here, and x equals to log 80 over log 8. Plus 2, which implies also here 80, same thing as 8 times 10. Then here we have x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8 plus 2. Then this follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 2. Then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 2. That is, 
here we have log 8 cancel each other and one left here that is this becomes x equals to 1 plus 2 that's 3 plus log 10 over log 8 the next step here also 10 can be written as 2 times 5 and what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8 that is here we apply the log log ring and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 8 and also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8 which implies here yeah, 8 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 that's 2 raised to power 3 but this here we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to power 3 plus log 5 over log 2 raised to power 3 this here we apply the power of logarithm 3 comes here and also here and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2 then here we have log 2 cancelled each other and x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 plus here yeah, we have also 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2 then next step here we have x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 that's same thing as 10 over 3 plus here we have 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2 then we apply change of base here when we have log here over log b this same thing as log a to base b that is here we have x equals to 10 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2 that is here we bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to the hcm here that's 3 and here we have 10 then plus log 5 base 2 that is the value of x here we have 10 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 then let's check here if this satisfy this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 10 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 that is here what we have becomes it's raised to power 10 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 minus 2 is it equals to 80 on this side then here this is 2 over 1 and we bring this power together as one well. that's 8 raised to power SCM here that's 3 here we still have 10 plus log 5 is 2 and minus 6 here now is it equals to 80 on this side then we have 8 raised to power 10 minus 6 here that's 4 and plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 is it equals to 80 on this side and here it's same thing as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 4 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And this power multiplies. 3 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to power 4 
plus log 5 is 2. This is equals to 80 on this side. And then we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, this same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power m. Then we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 5 is 2. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And 2 raised to the power 4, that's 2 multiplied 7 4 times, that's 16. Then times here, yeah. this follows on we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. Then here we have 5. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And in 16 times 5, of course, that's 80, which is equals to 80 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side, and therefore. We conclude that x equals to 10 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video with thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now